Uh, Speaking of the yeah. Rays, <laughs> Kevin Cash joins us. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Now, for those of you who don't know, you're like a you're like a Tam Tampa Bay royalty, I guess, because you're a local guy and you've been here throughout really your entire career. So talk about that being born and raised here in Tampa. Well, I, I don't know if I'd go as far as saying royalty. Tampa but, Bay uh, royalty, you gotta yeah. take it while you can get you're it. Right. Uh, very fortunate uh, to grow up in this in the Bay Area. Uh, as you know, well, I think anybody that lives here is pretty biased to this area. And then to ultimately get to come back home three years ago and, and work for uh, the Rays, uh, kind of like, like a dream come true. But getting getting the opportunity to do things like this is probably what is the icing on the cake and, and is special uh, that the Rays and I can be part of the Rays and have an impact in, in some really uh, nice events like this one today. How about as far as like playing and then, uh, you know, the playing career coming to a close and thinking of me, when, when was it, I guess? as you were still playing or maybe as yeah. as the career was ending when you started thinking about getting into coaching and then being manager well the, the highlight of my career was when my playing career came to an end that was a good thing uh you know what i didn't really have any aspirations of um, of doing other, anything other than just staying in the game of baseball i didn't know where that was going to take me but i was so fortunate to get to work and be around some great managers some great coaching staffs and then it just kind of uh molded from there and and had some really good opportunities along the way and and then obviously came into the best opportunity here three years ago. Well, with uh, you and being a part of the Rays, I mean, as you come into, as you head into work every day, I mean, you're basically driving right past the hospital um, on your way to the TROP. And with the Rays, I know they're, you know, everybody's a big supporter of the hospital. Um, we want to talk about your kind of personal connection with the hospital as far as uh, with your daughter. Yeah, uh, well, before I was coming to the, the Rays, we were we were going straight to the hospital and I uh, was so fortunate. Uh, my wife and I's oldest daughter, Camden, uh, was born with a heart condition uh, and spent plenty of nights, more nights than what we wanted to be here. Uh, but just the hospital, uh, it wasn't John Hopkins at the time, it was all children's. Uh, it was remarkable how they treated not just her, but our family. And, uh, you know, we've got a very, very healthy, beautiful 11-year-old daughter that's uh, in fifth grade and getting ready for Christmas. Yeah, and there's so many great organizations. I mean, the Rays support so many different organizations here in the Tampa Bay area, and that's what it's all about. You guys do a fantastic job at that. But this hospital is something special for the team and for you guys as well, right? Just because of that connection, right? But you guys choose your time and resources here at John Hopkins. I, we definitely do. And if you look throughout the course of the season and even during the off season, you'll notice we have a, a bunch of players that come over here on a on a you know throughout a homestand, just come visit, say hello, see if they can do anything to put a smile smile on uh, a patient's face or the family's face. And, uh, you know, they show that throughout our games uh, on the Jumbotron. Uh, Brian Ald and Matt Silverman, our two presidents, are tremendous in the community and uh, know that we can have a huge impact uh, with our platform of playing baseball. You, you just mentioned your daughter uh, being involved with the hospital here. And as kind of reading some notes here, um, they're kind of involved too. I was just kind of checking out a couple of things of the being shopping helpers and volunteering here. So, um, you know, we've seen a lot of families that uh, obviously the kids go through it and they become volunteers. Uh, but to get the kids involved and for her to be involved after after being here, I mean, you know, kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, it, mean, it means a lot. I mean, the, the last two years we've been able to participate in the uh, Santa's Helpers where uh, basically they set up as kind of the elves and they're taking the families that are staying in the hospital. It's it's the coolest event uh, that I've ever been a part of and uh, to have two old enough daughters that can go assist the moms and it's funny sometimes you know they'll look at the the mom or the dad and say no you don't want that you want this <laughs> uh and they'll get them to change their mind but that's kind of the highlight of their their holiday other than maybe what's under their tree that that given morning but uh, it's been really special for my like i said emily and i and our, both of our daughters camden and ella to be a part of that well I, I just wanted to say too that i know you know kevin you being a, a high profile member of our community and your wife of course helping out a lot of the times i want to talk to you you guys just as parents you know when, when you really take away what you do for the community as a part of the race I just want to talk to you like you're a dad and you're a mom what's that like when you find out that your child's sick and and that they're gonna need some specialized attention 
Uh, it's terrible. It's, it's terrifying, right? It's terrifying. It's scary. And um, but I feel very fortunate that we were kind of led along the way with with the staff here at All Children's and it's, uh, specifically the cardiology department. And they kind of held our hands through the whole thing. And now it feels good to kind of give back a little bit to those that helped us. Absolutely. So if you want to call right now, one eight hundred two seven zero eighty six forty two. We're talking to Kevin Cash and his wife Emily, and uh, you guys have done so much for the hospital, and uh, we certainly appreciate you guys coming by today as well. What would you tell other people? They're in the car getting ready to head home. It's Friday afternoon and boy, every dollar counts, right? They'll, they'll listen to royalty. They will. They want to know, <laughs> they they yes. know what Kevin Cash, you know. <laughs> listen, listen when you talk. So, <laughs> back there. so if you could tell anybody anything, it really is pretty easy to give, right? No, it is. And uh, you know what? If, if you uh, have, have had the the experience of being here with a, a family member or a child, your own child, uh, it, it becomes that much easier. Uh, but like you said, every dollar does help. It goes a long way. And, uh, you know, having the opportunity the last couple of years to walk through these hospitals and, and know uh, that, that how appreciative everybody that works here and then, you know, first and foremost, the patients are of anything that we can provide. I mean, just, you know, it's the same story with everybody we talk to, uh, you know, the Cash family here included. It's, you know, everybody that's been here, is, you know, sticks around, yeah. volunteers. Yeah. You know, I, there's nobody gets nobody gets done being a patient or, or leaves and just goes like, you know, see, yeah, that was fun, thanks. I mean, you, they continue to come back. They continue to help. Their kids get involved, uh, as mm -hmm. with you guys. So, I mean, that's that it, it just speaks to what this place is and the yeah. reason that, you know, we're here these couple of days trying to, to have people, uh, you know, realize that if you've never come through the front door. Yeah, absolutely. And it, the money stays right here in Tampa Bay, which I think is so important. And we've been trying to really stress that because, look, there's a lot of people who come from out of town, come specifically here to Johns Hopkins to help their children. We're so fortunate. It's right in our own backyard. Mm -hmm. And so you don't realize, um, you know, we kind of take that for granted sometimes, you know, that it's right here helping our community. This money stays right here. 1-800-270-8642. 50 cents a day. I mean, that's kind of crazy to think about. I probably, I probably take that change. I probably have washed that in my that washing machine, <laughs> probably. You know, they'll like change you clean out of your washing machine. Yeah. So, All right, Kevin Cash, Ray's manager, his wife, Emily, thank you both for stopping by so much and everything you do for Johns Hopkins All Children's here. Uh, and we'll just tie that right back into the fact that if you do become a monthly miracle maker with us or you do make a donation with us here, uh, we're going to get you in the running for that ultimate race suite with the uh, batting practice tickets, parking passes, a signed baseball, a suite, and more. Uh, but you got to make the phones ring if you want to have a shot at that. Monthly Miracle Makers, $15 a month, 50 cents a day. 1-800-270-8642. Uh, 1-800-270-8642. We want those phones to ring. We want everybody over there helping from Marriott, uh, from Johns Hopkins here, the hospital, and from Leaders uh, Furniture to, to, to get to work over there as we start to kind of the, the time is shrinking, heading towards 7 o'clock. Let's get the phones ringing and make, make a big push to the finish with yeah, triple every, match. Yeah, exactly. The triple match is still going. So if you want to you know, donate right now, your money will be tripled. So I really want to stress that as well. We're only here until 7 o'clock. I know a lot of people think, oh, I can do that later, or I'll call, and, or I'll go on the website and do it later. But now is the time to give the money. So make sure you make those phones ring at 1-800-270-8642.